So this was a showcase game for Aiden Hutchinson. I mean, he's off to a roaring start this season. He came out of this game with two and a half sacks. But to me, probably his most impressive play was a play that he didn't register a stat, Vance, because it it showed what a high level he's – I mean, the, the game, he's thinking it. He's thinking the game and playing the game at the same time. So let's 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 back up and show the people a play that Michigan scored on. So Michigan scored in week one on this bluff play. And I, I want to show this play as an example of what defensive ends typically do. And and Vance, you can talk us through maybe how you would tell you would coach your guys to to play this uh, because I imagine it puts a lot of guys, a lot of coordinators gives them fits. <laughs> about what they should do, but this is one that we actually telestrated. This is a play, a bluff play that Michigan scored on. And and then Vance, you can sort of tell me how you would try to defend this as a defensive coordinator, right? So this winds up being a like a reverse to to the receiver, and you'll see the defensive end get totally lost on this play because it's a bluff play. All right. So we highlighted the five technique. Comes out, he bluffs that five tech. And then it's off to the races for. Now, now again, Vance, I laughed at this and I laughed at it and I probably shouldn't because I'd never done it. <laughs> and I imagine that a, a bunch of defensive ends, man, get caught up this way. He thinks it's a split zone. He's caught in the middle of the field. He got sucked inside by the action. All right. Well, it's, it's twofold. A lot of people teach if the front side guy pulls, whether it be a guard or tackle, you don't spill the football. So if that guy is wrong from the start. So he went to spill something. He shouldn't have even gone down inside. They pull the front side guard. So he should stay outside the guard. It's a, it's the, they pull the center. They pull the center. Yeah, they pull the center. center. He should stay out as he squeezes. He should stay outside the center. Mm hmm. And that's the first problem. So he, he's wrong from the start. Uh, most D-line coaches I've been around, if a center to the front side guard attack or pull, they don't spill. They stay, they stay outside to pull it and turn it back to the rest of the defense. So from my standpoint as coaching, he's wrong from the start. They don't have a chance right now. Okay. And so now you have a safety sitting deep. They got a clean shot on the linebacker. They start blocking the receiver. They're in trouble. It starts with that front side defensive end. He should have been up the field right now. All right. All right. So now let's let's go to Michigan versus Washington and look at them trying to bluff Aiden Hutchinson. All right, Vance. So here we go. It is first and 10. And they are going to try to get outside of Aiden Hutchinson. He won't let them. Okay. As you can see, we... Ken right now the Sam back, which he's playing, trying to play in the safety. So we roll into a three zone. They're going to angle the defensive line to the boundary. He's coming off the edge. And we go into a strong 3D roll here. So it's a great call for this play. I mean, they did a great job holding that cover for the skies, moving around. Mm -hmm. But again, two back set, no tight end to the field. I love this as a defensive coordinator. Vance, they're clearly expecting Aiden Hutchinson to get sucked inside here. Mm -hmm. well, here we go. He stays square. That is a great job. And I, I also want to give credit to the guys coaching him because a lot of times you tell a player to go spill the football. That means they try to hit it right down the middle of the wrong shoulder. He stayed square, which means he stayed alive. He could defend inside and now react outside. And with the safety coming down, they have two on one, and the safety's unblocked with help inside out from the linebacker. That's a great defensive play by him and also by the safety. Just great fundamental play. So, Al, as the offensive guy here, I mean, is it is it wrong to think that he, he thought he wasn't going to have to block him? Your your fullback, he, he thought he wasn't going to have to block Aiden Hutchinson. Am I, am I right with that? 
Well, yeah, that's the whole, whole idea is you're trying to finesse the five. You're trying to get the five to squeeze enough so you can bluff him. He's got to sell the split zone so he gets him to, to shuffle hard inside, then he can go around him. He's got to know that if he doesn't take the bait, you have to engage him, and the ball gets kicked back inside. The play is not near as good because uh, you want the edge on the play. It's got to be sold as a split zone, but the kid's just too smart. He, what he does, he starts to squeeze half a beat, but he sees the whole picture, and he mm -hmm. sees that the ball's coming back, so he doesn't get caught inside, and he pushes everything back into the inside of the defense. Well, the play, when he goes inside, like it's, not, it's just not near as good a play. It's a play where you, you want to flank the spill. And if he can't spill it, if it's not spilled or he doesn't over squeeze, the stock of the play goes down. It's that simple. Yes, I now, mean they were running Sam, they were running quarters coverage that play. They had to play. But again, they got a stunt coming from the field and they bring the safety down. Yeah. So you, you had a perfect call for that particular play. If they were running just a normal cover four and he's coming off the edge, they actually have a successful offensive play, possibly right here. But you had a safety rolling down. They're in a strong three zone. You had an extra person coming down. They had no blocker for him. But again, with the defensive man staying square, he can play underneath it and push the ball vertically. It's tackling practice. So it was a perfect call for what was happening on that particular play.